you guys. I uh, hope you're all doing well out there today. So I'm back with another lesson and today's topic is the melodic minor scale. So before I get on with the lesson, um, if you do like what I do, please think about subscribing to my channel by hitting the button below. Ring that bell, uh, give the video a thumbs up and a like and please write a comment. If you have any questions or queries or anything you want me to answer, please type it below. Also type in what you would like to see me do for future lessons or topics. Please write it below. I'd be willing to help uh, any of you guys out. That's what I'm here for. So the melodic minor scale, this can be used in many, many different ways. Okay. And at the start of the video, I paid over a quist backing track, by the way, I will post that below. So this goes on from the lesson I did a couple of days ago, where I talked about playing over chord changes. Now in jazz and fusion kind of style playing, you find a common chord progression uh, is the two, five, one, like I talked about, but mainly the, the aspect of what we want to look at and, and we want to focus in, in on the chord progression is the five to the one movement. So that's chord five to chord one. Now the opening track was just the loop of the five chord to the one chord. So it was in the key of C minor this time. And the one chord was C minor. And the five chord was a G altered chord. Okay, so it's a G7 sharp five, a G altered, which means you take the G7, you just know this shape, that's fine. And then he adds a sharp five or the quisted in the backing, but this is a very common thing that you can use. Okay, the sharp five. I could also use the flat five, which would be the, uh, this one here to go back to the home chord. So all it does is it brings tension into the five chord a bit more to then resolve it to the one. Because a lot of the time when you want to play kind of out um, in the progression and make it sound jazzy, I hate that term, but you know what I mean. A lot of the stuff is done on the five chord before the resolution to the tonic, in this case, the C minor. So a lot of the time, instead of just playing a straight G7 chord, the fifth chord dominant, they would alter some notes to give it a bit more tension. So they would either put in the sharp five, the flat five, sharp nine, flat nine. What's the melodic minor scale got to do with this? We can play a melodic minor scale over that G7 chord or G altered to take us back home. And you can see at the start of the video, that's what I was doing. I was trying to get the sound over to you. So let's first break down the melodic minor scale. What is it? Okay, so again, it is used mainly over dominant chords, but there's plenty of other ways you can use it. In this case, I'm just using it over the dominant chord. In future lessons, I will show you else, uh, elsewhere you can use it, but today we're just gonna be playing over this dominant chord. So five to the one, you can use a melodic minor scale. Now that scale is called the altered scale as well. So let me just explain what the melodic minor is. So let's just take, let's just, I'll, I'll play it in C, okay? So C melodic minor, okay, in this case, it's just easier to do. The intervals we have are one, two, flat three, four, five, major six, major seven, then you're back to your root. So here, a bit different from the natural minor scale. So the natural minor is one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six. But we want to make that a major six. Also in the natural minor, you have the flat seven. In this case, we have a major seven in the middle of it. So, it's normally those last two intervals, the major six and major seven, which really make it stand out, right? So, and there, and there. So really get those intervals down uh, and get used to your, get them used to your ear and get let your ear get used to them as well. Because when you first play it, it can be a bit ooh, out there for some people, okay? You just have to acclimatize to it. So where does the melodic minor come in on this? Well, we're gonna play what we call the altered scale. Now it's the seventh mode of the melodic minor modes. So the reason it is the perfect scale to use over the five chord to bring in tension is because the scale is gonna contain all of those altered notes I talked about before. The flat five, the sharp five, the flat nine, and the sharp nine, okay? So what you do is on this G7, G altered, doesn't matter. I could just play a straight G7 here, guys. Before it goes to the one, I'm gonna play the altered scale. So the key of this is in C minor. So I'd be playing in C minor pentatonic, C natural minor, I could do C Dorian as well. 
I could even use C minor, uh, melodic minor actually. Um, but I'll talk about that maybe in another lesson, but you can do that if you do know it, like I just demonstrated in that shape there. Okay, so, but we're gonna use the altered scale, which you're gonna find lots of in jazz. So the altered scale is gonna sound like this over this key. resolves really nicely back to that home chord of C minor. So we're going to play a G altered scale, okay? A good way to think of it, you take your G note, what we're on, move it up one semitone and play a melodic minor scale. So it'd be a G sharp melodic minor essentially. So this is a G sharp melodic minor or a G altered. So I start on the G, it up, play a melodic minor, okay? Again, I'm playing a G altered scale, which means I'm playing a G sharp, okay, melodic minor. So you take that G, move it up one, and play a melodic minor. Why does that work? Well, if we analyze the G sharp melodic minor, okay, against the G, it contains all of the altered notes that we want to make, give that tension there. So if I analyze it against the G, that G sharp melodic minor, Look, we have a G. So against this G, I'm gonna hold my finger here on the G still, you might not see my face, but I'm gonna play the melodic minor in my left hand, G sharp, and I'm gonna show you the intervals. So we have flat, turn you up a bit so we can hear. So we have a flat nine, sharp nine. That's my third of G now. Flat five, sharp five, flat seven. And then we are back, this is the root and then you're back around to the flat nine there. Okay, so that's why that scale sounds really good. If I unmute the track and just play a bit over it, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So, this would be the C minor seven. G altered. Okay, so, this is where I'll play C minor pentatonic, C uh, natural minor, then the G altered scale over this. So you can hear, I'm gonna to keep to this position first. C minor pentatonic. Altered. Make sure I resolve as well. Let me just mute this again. So you have to make sure you resolve. So you can only stay on that scale over that G7 chord or the G altered chord. Okay, so I'm playing C minor pentatonic into that G altered scale, so G sharp melodic minor. This is where you have to know your positions around the neck, guys. So I'm just looking at this position, so I'll play it all in full. So this is the C minor pentatonic. I'm looking at position four of C minor pentatonic. Or I can think C natural minor. Starting from the lowest E at that point, guys, okay? So don't be confused. Okay, I'll, I'll start it from the C if it, it's easy for you to understand. So C natural minor. And then I'm going into my G altered scale from there, which would be, so you start the G, slide up, and then the melodic minor scale. So in terms of frets, okay, I have the third fret, then I slide to the fourth fret, then six, seven on the low E, four to six on the D, three, five, six on the, sorry, three, five, six on the D, it was four and six on the uh, A string. So three, five, six on the D, three, four, six on the G, four to six on the B, three, four, six, and then you can finish on that seven on the high E string, which will be my third against the G. So let me play it over the track and you'll see what that sounds like. So that's the C minor to the G altered. So C minor. You can hear that altered scale.
Okay, so you can hear that sound of the altered. I'm bringing in tension before I resolve back to that C minor. Give that a go, guys. So that's your introduction and your second part, really, to what uh, the video I did a couple of days ago about playing over chord changes. We really want to focus in on that five chord, and that is a really good way to start doing it. Learn the altered scale and playing it over the dominant chord before you resolve. So like I say, take it nice and slow. So G altered would be G sharp melodic minor, okay? It's the super, called the super locrian mode. It's the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale. <laughs> resolve really nicely. So give that a go. That is one way to use the melodic minor. There's plenty of other ways, but I wanted to get you started with that today. Any questions, please let me know below. Please let me know what you would like to do. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it, whatever you can do to help out. Thank you guys. I will see you at the next one. Have a good day.